In this Adobe Express tutorial, I'll be covering everything about animation. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. A quick note, if you haven't watched the previous part, then I highly recommend checking them out first to catch up on the basics. All right, first I'm gonna go to the Explore tab. Scroll down. And let's find something from the Instagram post category. Let's see if we can find something here. I think this one would be good to go. Click on Customize Template. And you can see all these layers. First of all, I'm gonna go into this group. This layer belongs to this leaf in the background. From the left sidebar, click on Animation. Here you have three options. You can apply moving animation, you can apply a loop animation, and apply a move out animation. Let's look into moving animations. And you've got some pre-made animations here. Simply move your mouse on any preset and it's gonna show the preview. You can make it drift in, drop it in, make it grow. You can pop it, spin it, but I'm gonna rise it. Once you click on it, you can adjust some more settings. You can change the direction of the motion if you want. When you choose a preset, then this timeline will appear down here. And you can click on this play button to see the preview. I'm gonna decrease the time of this animation to 1 second. Let's type it in. And see the preview. Looks good. Next we have the looping. Here you also have some presets that you can check. Basically looping animations will keep on repeating on the select delay throughout the timeline. I'll make it bob. I'll decrease the speed. And also the intensity of the motion. Let's see the preview. It rises into the screen from the bottom and then starts bobbing. Next we have the move out animations and I'm gonna select rise out. I'll change its direction to down this time and decrease its duration to 0.7 seconds. Let's see the preview. Moves in, starts bobbing and then move out. You can also increase or decrease the duration of the timeline by simply dragging it. Let's preview it one more time and everything looks good. Now I'm gonna select the other layer and apply the same animation settings to keep a consistent look and feel. By the way, you can also change the personality of the motion, but I'll keep it as it is. Same settings go for the loop in. And same settings for the move out animation. I'll keep it to upward direction this time. Decrease the duration. And that's it. And that looks great. Next, I'm gonna select this group which contains the main product image. And this text here is a separate group. But I want to animate both of these as one element. So I'll move this text layer down. I'll select both the image group and the text group. But it's also selecting these background leaves which I don't want. So I lock the layer first. Now I can select both the text and the product image and group them together as one. If I double click on it, you can see that this text and the image are inside this group now. I'll go into the animation. From the moving presets, let's preview the bungee effect. Not bad. Maybe the popping effect. Or maybe spin it. I actually like this one. And for the looping, I want it to wiggle. I'll decrease the speed and increase the intensity a little bit. For the move out animation, we can try shrink or pop out. Alright, let's see the preview. And that looks great. Next, I'm gonna animate this title. For the move in animation, I'll select Bungie. I'm not applying any looping animation on this one because I want this to hold still. And for the move out animation, I'll select Bungie as well. Let's preview it. Now 
Next we have this bottom text. I'm gonna apply drop in for the move in animation and drop out for the move out animation. Looks good but if you notice all the animations are starting at the same time which I don't want. Now there's an option here to show the layer timing and with this you can change when a specific animation starts appearing on the screen. So I'm gonna select the title. I'm gonna move my playhead on the timeline to find a spot where I want the title animation to start. Then I'll drag this timing layer to that point. Now I'm gonna move my playhead further to the point where the title has fully loaded. And at this point I want the bottom text to start appearing on the screen. You can also see these dots on the timing layer which indicates the layers that are starting at that certain point. For example, here you can see that the product image group and the background leaves group is starting its animation in the very start of the video. In the next part, you can see that the title layer animation will start here and then finally the bottom text layer will start appearing on the screen. Alright, let's see what we've done so far. First the product image and the background leaves appear on the screen, then the main title starts to appear and then the bottom text appears. Looks great, exactly what we wanted. Next from the media, I'll go to the audio tab and here you can find a lot of music tracks. You can also see some different categories here. But I'll use the search bar to look up for corporate music. Let's check this one. Let's try this one and it will be added at the bottom of the timeline. Let's see the preview. Looks great. By the way, you can also change the volume from here. Once everything is done, click here to download the video. You can choose your required size and click on download. Another very important thing you need to know. If I select the music layer and click on this button, then you can find information about the track to avoid any copyright issues. So I'll copy this content ID code and save it in a separate file to troubleshoot any copyright claims if needed. Alright everyone, let's see the final output. looks wonderful. So that's how you can create very catchy animations with just a few settings. If this video was helpful then please give it a like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. In the next part we'll be looking at the video quick actions for simple editing. You can find the video link on the screen right now. I'll see you there. Take care.